everyone, it is Susie, and I want to wish everybody a great Labor Day weekend. I hope that you get to do something uh, fun that you enjoy. Um, I am going to do another project in the Somerset studio. I always like to do at least one thing that justifies my getting the magazine and paying the price for it. There were a lot of fun projects in this magazine this time, but I chose an easy one because of time, just for the time's sake. So, the one that I am going to be doing is the Index Card a Day, Keeps the Creative Runaway, by Kristen Van Valkenburg. Uh, so anyway, this is what I chose to do. She had some really pretty... Um, uh, index cards. Of course, mine are not going to be uh, like like hers. I mean, I always put my own spin on it uh, most times, but I just chose the easier one this time because of the time. Um, I just didn't have a lot of time this time uh, to go around. So, um, what I did was I have these index cards here. These are just Walmart index cards. To make them a little bit sturdier because they are flimsy. Now she backed hers, it looks like, on some cardstock. I just, I copy dyed mine and then I took two of them and I just glued them together so that the lines were to the inside and not showing. Now you can buy these blank, but um, I just glued two of them together and uh, did it that way. So that way it gave them a little more sturdiness. And they're just four by six. Uh, for my project, though, I still have to find a vintage box. I have not found a vintage box yet to display my index cards in. But I'm going to show you what my plans are uh, for the index cards. So, these are my index cards. Oh, I want to show you something first because somebody's going to ask me. I'm going to do a tutorial on one. And uh, somebody's going to ask me about the spider webs. Uh, Sharon has made some spider webs. These are in the Etsy shop. Um, they're packed this year. Now she made some last year, but she just made two sizes. This year she's made a small, a medium, and a large. And uh, that's how they're going to be packed in a set of three. So um, these are like a silver metallic, which are really cute. And then I have them in the black small, medium, and large in the black, and that's how they're going to come packed, set of three. So someone will ask me just as soon as they see my project, and I want to be able to uh, share with you that I have those in the shop. So here are my index card a days that I made. Now guys, these were so easy, so quick, that um, they were just really fun. So I just made a few up. And then my plans, I'm going to show you to you first. This is my first one. This is just a paper pad. I don't even remember who it's by. I did some fussy cutting. I used some of the big chat words from Tim Holtz. Uh, delightful destination. Really, really pretty. And then here is a fall one that I made. This is using Prima's new uh, fall paper. And then here is a Christmas one that I made. And this is using, I believe it's Prima's new Christmas paper. And I did some fussy cutting on the tree. And these are so quick and easy. This here is uh, one of the Tim Holtz botanicals there. Um, I'm not sure what the paper, I can't, I, I'm not sure what the paper is. I just tried to add some... Uh, some papers that I had. I believe it's probably a Prima paper. Here I used a vintage playing card with birds on it and some of the braille that I was gifted. Um, that was from my dear sweet friend Ellen and thank you Ellen. I absolutely love the braille. Um, just added some different laces and of course grateful and blessed and then uh, those are also from the Tim Holtz Big Chat. And this is, I just finished up a couple little journals using this paper and I had it out and decided to make a little index card here. 
So that is what I did there. I put create and joy on it. And then here is the Halloween one I made. And this is with the large uh, spider web here. These, of course, are the Tim Holtz little um, um, Halloween paper dolls. And I've got Be Brave on my big chat words there. This is actually from some of his, uh, that tissue that he collage paper that he has in the roll he has some out in the Halloween and so anyway that is how I did use some uh, some uh, cheesecloth there just super cute super fun so what I did uh, this one here I've added a little piece of washi but I did find some uh, some washi while I was looking for something just a while ago and I found some of this as well and I'm going to be using the Halloween washi on the back of this. So that's that's what's going to kind of go on the back of that. But what I decided to do with these, and let me find the ones that I have used. Um, where's my Christmas? Okay, so what I'm going to do with mine is I have decided, because I'm not a big journaler. I love journals. I love to purchase journals. Um, but most of the time they set because I just am not in the habit of journaling. So I thought this is so super quick and so super easy that I am going to find me a vintage box of some sort to display these in. And I am going to be journaling my grandson on the back of some. Um, I've just uh, added... Um, just some little something that I've wrote about the photo and that is what I plan to do with um, um, with my journaling cards and so I've just wrote something this was the day that he has birthday uh, this is his little best friend Brooke and uh, they were sitting in his little car eating ice cream cones so um, they were all wet, they had such a good time, they had been playing in the water. But this is what I am going to do. I just make the front really pretty, and then on the back I just am journaling. And I tried two different things. I journaled, uh, I mean I printed this on some coffee stained paper. Not so sure that I am going to do that for the photos, but I did want to uh, try it. And then these, of course, here I just printed on photo paper. This is my little Canon selfie printer that I used, and I think I like it the best. And then I uh, journaled a little bit. He got a little train from Ikea, and he was playing with it. We had made a trip to Kansas City over, um, oh, over the, uh, um, I believe it was more Memorial Day weekend. Uh, my kids and I went to uh, Kansas City, so we went to Ikea while we were there. And uh, because I've never, I, I don't live close to an Ikea, there's not even one remotely close. Uh, that was the first trip into an Ikea, and I loved it. So anyway, that is what I'm going to do. And then I, I've saved the fall and uh, the Christmas and Halloween, and I'll put his little photo back there um, and just write a little something about the photo. And I want to display it in a nice vintage box. So that is that is my idea and my project for the index card a day. So I've got one and I'm going to make it because Halloween is so close. I'm going to make this one another Halloween one. So I have dug out just some pieces that I know that I'm going to use. Here is my coffee dyed index cards. They are, like I said, four by six. This is some of the Tim Holtz wallpaper uh, that he has the little uh, pieces you can buy in a package. It has the texture of a wallpaper. I believe this is his Halloween one. Uh, but he has lots in there, not necessarily just for Halloween. So, um, anyway, and I've got some more of the Tim Holtz paper dolls, and I've got the spider web. So, um, Anyway, that is what I'm going with. I, I'm trying to determine whether I want to go this way or the other way. And I think I'm going to go this way with this one. I have had it two different ways trying to decide. 
kind of which way I'm going with it. I'm just going to use some uh, Fabri-Tac and, uh, and get that glued down a little bit. I uh, I said that I chose this one because I just felt like it was an easier project. Uh, but I really do love playing with these little these little pieces. So they're quick and they're easy. And if you just you know want to do something, but you don't feel like doing a big project, I do that quite often. I want to make something. I you know, and I'm sitting at my craft table, but man, I just don't want to dig out a big project. So. These are just super fun to to do because they they don't take long at all. They're just such a small space to fill. So I'm going to just let's see. I'm not sure if I'm cricket or not. I can't tell exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go that way with it. This here is a Tim Holtz. Um, I believe they were called box tops, and I actually cut this off. Um, it was something I bought several years ago. Uh, I just thought they were cute. They're just vintage boxes, actually. Probably a costume did come in that. And that is just what the box looks like. I think I am going to go something. I want her just a little overlaid on that box. So, and I, I'm, oops, I do want this. These are some vintage, uh, like those uh, Big Ten stamps or SH Green stamps. These are some kind of those stamps. I bought that, bought them because they were orange. And I, I bought them several months ago, but I knew I was going to use them for Halloween. So, they were the perfect color. And so I purchased them, and there wasn't a whole lot in the book, but enough to just, just play with. The book was mainly empty and just had a few of the stamps in it. So I'm going to go something to that effect. Going to add the spider web at the top and I have one of the Tim Holtz tokens that says 31. I'm going to string a little string just a little bit of This is just that waxed cord. It's a little bit of wax cord. I think that's how I'm going to do that. And of course, it will set on the um, on the spider web. That's kind of where I'm going with it. So that I think that's kind of the the way I'm going with the layout on this little card. But see how quick that is. It takes no time to to get this um, kind of figured out. It's it's so quick and easy, guys. So like I said, if you uh, are just wanting to mess a little bit and you just don't feel like digging out, you know, and making a big project journal or whatever, it, this is just super simple and super quick to do. You don't really have to put a lot of thought into it. So just one of them kind of deals and that sometimes that's what I like is just those quick and easy projects okay so let's get the and I love this uh, box up as a matter of fact um, I think I bought them last year maybe or year before last uh, it was after I had already made a few Halloween projects so I stuck them in my little um, Halloween tub there with my Halloween papers and things and um, I was looking for something and I ran across them and so I thought oh that would work perfect on the um, little index card so all right and I'm ready to stick on my little paper dolls I love Tim Holtz paper dolls they are my favorite thing to play with I just absolutely love them. I uh, like to put them in the journals and I mean just they're just really fun to work with. So I hope everybody's got some fun plans for the Labor Day weekend. I 
am going to be home. I'm not really doing anything, but my plans are to do a deep clean in some of my craft stash. I have so much stuff, it's unbelievable. I uh, wanted to kind of just do a, a, a real good clean, and plus I'm, uh-oh, I am um, trying to reorganize a spare room that I keep a lot of my crafts in. And so I'm going through a lot of things in there, trying to kind of reorganize and and that. So that's my plans for the weekend. But it'll still be fun. It'll be fun to kind of see what I've got that maybe I've forgotten. <laughs> forgotten that I've even have. Oops. That's getting low. It's going to take it a little while to come out. I will use my art glitter glue on this. So I'm just going to kind of get that where it will stick. And the spider web's going to go up here. I kind of looked around. I've been trying to find me a vintage box, and I've been looking about the last, um, oh gosh, maybe four, four weeks or so I've been looking, and I just haven't had any luck. It's, you know, I... I kind of wanted something like an old wood recipe box, but I don't know that the cards would fit in there. Uh, you know, with a little room, I don't know. But I, I've been looking for maybe just a vintage box, open box, maybe even, and um, I just haven't had any, haven't had any luck. Okay, I'm kind of letting my Fabri-Tac glue get down in the bottle some. Because I definitely have to use Fabri-Tac on this. Okay, very, very messy. Alright. And I'm going to put that right there. See, I think I just want it up and down. I don't even think I want it kind of cockeyed. I think I just want it up and down. And I'm going to trim that. Let's see here. I'll trim that just a little there. It need to be quite that long. Okay, so there's the little tag. How fun, how fun, how fun. And see how easy that is, guys? I just think this is just a really quick and easy, easy project. Now, I wouldn't do an index card a day to keep me crafty, but I think it's fun, a fun way if, like I said, you're just feeling a little, you know, like you just want to do something, but you don't want to take on anything big. Now, this is just, this would just is a fun, fun project. So, um probably need to ink a little bit around my edges. I didn't do that before I before I started. I do want it to have a little bit of the inked a little bit of the inked look. And I'm going to put a little bit of that washi tape on the back. And this is a no-sew, so I don't have any kind of sewing on it. Some of them I sewed on, and some of them I just didn't. They just didn't need sewing on them. And this is one of them that just doesn't really need any, any sewing on it. Okay, and I have the, uh, like I have this October and Halloween washi tape and I'll probably have to add a little glue to it maybe maybe not so I'll just add a little bit of that and of course when I put a photo there or something I will probably add just another little piece of of washi on the photo but so if I can get this other and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and 
tear it a little bit and just add a little a little orange in there Let's see uh, just adding a little bit of orange to it. There we are. And guys, how easy is that? Easy peasy is what I say. All right, guys. So anyway, that is my that is my project. That is my little index card a day. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope that you have a great weekend and. Um, there's the little project for this go around in the summer set. Don't forget about the spider webs in the Etsy shop. And um, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.